Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Today we have a ton of big news for Ark Genesis 2 because Cedric and Jesse from Wildcard were special guests on the Twitch gaming show yesterday and they revealed a lot of epic new info about the brand new things coming to Ark Genesis Part 2 that we have never heard about before. We are also going to talk about some big news about this channel and remember how I said I was pretty confident Ark would go on sale this weekend for like $10? Well, Ark just went on sale on just about every platform for $10, and they also just revealed the epic new Ultimate Survivor Edition that I'll tell you more about in this video. But before any of this, real quick, I want to clear this up because I am still getting comments asking where Ark Genesis 2 is because the 26th was supposed to be the Genesis 2 release date, but they pushed it back and delayed it until June 2nd. Now, before we start the epic Genesis 2 reveals, I want to find out what you think of this new intro for my channel's videos, which is coming up right now. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started. So please let me know in the comments if you like this new intro better than the old one, and if you have any suggestions about that. I needed a new 4K version of my intro and ending because we're doing ARC videos in 4K now. I will probably change some of it with content from Genesis 2 pretty soon, but I will be swamped with guides for at least a couple of weeks. So consider this a placeholder until then. I want to make the intros and endings of my video much quicker and smoother so we can focus more on the stuff you care about. But ironically, I talked about the new shorter intro for way too long on this video, but that's a one-time thing. And be sure to let me know what you think of the new ending segment of this video too, which is coming up later. So let's dive into these epic Genesis 2 reveals. Now thanks to all the hype and support of our ARC community, the Twitch gaming show had a record number of viewers, and I felt like the ARC segment kind of upstaged the interview with Zack Snyder, who appeared on the show, but he did give his Call of Duty gamer tag, so check the link in the description of this video if you want to go back and watch the whole replay for anyone who wants to try to play with Zack Snyder on Call of Duty. They also announced there will be a brand new Genesis 2 gameplay trailer coming out between now and June 2nd, so keep an eye out for that. Now the first reveal we'll talk about is a brand new item we've never heard about before, and even though it is pretty low tech level, I'm actually super excited about the new net projectile. Wildcard said, when a normal bola isn't doing the job, in comes the net projectile. Using the net projectile with a harpoon, you'll be able to net larger creatures. The reason this is so exciting is that the bola is one of the most overpowered items in the game, allowing us to escape or trap and tame creatures. If you're fast enough, you can even immobilize a creature and build a taming pen around them, which I often do while I'm taming things. But this net projectile will work with the harpoon launcher to do the same thing with much bigger creatures. The Triceratops is currently only immobilized by a chain bola, and that's able to trap anything up to the size of a rex and a spino. This may even let us parachute down, net a quetzal out of the sky, and build a trap on top of it once it hits the ground. Paired with the stun function of the tech pistol, we might be able to immobilize creatures for a very long time in Genesis 2, which will be an absolute game changer for lots of things. And the harpoon launcher unlocks at level 43, so this net projectile could be a very easy early game thing to help us just tame all kinds of stuff. Also, they finally gave us a screenshot of the new Genesis 2 biome variants, and they look pretty awesome. This is not actually all of them, because we know there's at least some biome variants for parasaurs from other screenshots we've seen, but Wildcard said, Some old friends will be making an appearance in Genesis Part 2. Here's an early look at our Gen R variants, which include new versions of many previous expansion creatures. I know we are all super excited to see the turtle will be in Genesis 2, right? But seriously, now we know there will be some extinction creatures like the Snow Owl and the Velonosaur, and of course the extra crazy looking Reapers will be returning. And this Quetzal and Giga actually look really awesome with their new color schemes, and I'm sure the Gen R variants will be extra powerful too. 
they finally gave us a screenshot for the new tech surveillance console, which I'm sure will work with the tech security camera system. Wildcard said, secure your base in Genesis Part 2 with a remote camera security system. Issue commands, view and communicate all from a remote location. You can even use them to spy on and communicate with your enemies. So if you like to trash talk your enemies from a safe distance, this will be really useful for psychological warfare. From what we already know, you can make a network of security cameras around the whole map, which will let you not only spy on things, but also command your creatures from the safety of your own home. Although in the screenshot, if you look really closely, there's a shadow main on the left and an enemy survivor sneaking up on the right in the background. So I've already got a Genesis 2 pro tip for you. Before you build any more security cameras around the world, set one up to watch your back first. And keep an eye out for more Genesis 2 tips from this channel. We will have a ton of tips and guides rolling out constantly once the expansion launches. In another brand new reveal, they showed us the new Jar of Pitch. Wildcard said, If you're going on a siege, you'll definitely want something that can leave an impact. The Jar of Pitch allows you to do just that, by leaving an impact area covered in flames. So this will basically be a giant oil jar fired from the catapult turret, and it probably soaks a very big area in fire. If you're strategic with how you use this, you can actually herd your enemies around and get them to go right where you want them to by catching everything else on fire. They also revealed this new screenshot of the Void Worm, saying, The silhouette might read as a wyvern, but these mechanical sentries are nothing of the sort. Be careful when you're out exploring. Void Worm does not take well to interlopers. This doesn't give us a ton of new info, but we know they will kick our butts if we get too close to their territory. And this last screenshot is the Tech Exo Armor, without any new description text, but we already know a lot about this from previous other news updates. Now, if you want to know about every Genesis 2 item that's been revealed up until this point, which is probably the last set of reveals before Genesis 2 launches, check the link in the description. I have an entire playlist which covers all of our news updates, and I highly recommend checking that out if you've missed any of them. And this brings us to the brand new Arc Ultimate Survivor Edition and the epic Arc sales going on right now. So on just about every platform except Switch, I'm sorry Switch players, you can get the base game of Arc along with all the free DLC maps and updates for about $10. And if you have Arc Switch and own any other console, this is the best time to switch to a much better version of Arc. If you've got any friends you want to play Arc with, this is the time to get it. Although, if you want to get all the expansions, including Genesis 1 and 2, the Ultimate Survivor Edition is on sale for $55 to $60 right now, and it's about a $150 value for what you're getting. Considering Genesis Part 1 and 2 is already $35, it is not a bad deal at all to also get the rest of the expansions for just 20 bucks more. So now's the time to invite your friends to join in your ARC adventures or get every bit of ARC content for the same price as just the base game normally is. Also, in another Twitter update this week, Wildcard made a strong hint that ARC will be coming out for Stadia this summer, so we'll have to keep an eye out for more info on that, but we'll probably be welcoming a whole lot of new ARC players pretty soon. Cedric also said on Twitter today, What I did want to mention is Genesis 2 is not the end of Arc 1. The team plans on supporting it with additional updates, content, did I hear a new map, and bug fixes throughout 2022 leading up to Arc 2. It isn't the end, it's just the beginning. We're committed. It sounds like he may or may not have been actually supposed to share that information with us, but it's very comforting to know, and I'm really glad he did. Now, I know Cedric has to be the bearer of a lot of bad news, and he probably gets a lot of hate mail for that, but uh, I'm always so impressed with how positive he is and how encouraging he is to the art community, so we all really appreciate that, Cedric. So, can anyone guess what the new map will be? I will go on record betting that it's going to be Fjordr, even though the name is not very YouTuber friendly. It is a beautiful, stunning map, and it recently became a sponsored mod, which is the first step in becoming an official map. Check the link in the description for my entire video all about that map. 
Also, I wanted to share with you guys, this is really cool, Cedric actually mentioned the Architects Builder community during the Twitch gaming show in front of everybody, and he was super impressed with their epic Star Wars builds. If you don't know about those, check the link in the description for my full video that talked about it. They did an awesome Star Wars event where they just built some incredible builds. And uh, did you know you can actually visit this Star Wars event server right now if you want to, as long as you are on Xbox or the Windows 10 Microsoft edition of Arc. If you go to the Architects website, and I'll put a link in the description of this video, you can fill out their contact form for more information, and they will send you info on how you can log in and visit this amazing server, and you can check out all of these breathtaking builds for yourself. And while you're on their website, check out all of the Builder's YouTube channels, because they all deserve a lot more recognition, even the ones that are already pretty famous. Also, here's another quick but important tip. Some people have been grinding grinding to save up hexagons on Genesis Part 1 because they heard you can transfer them to Genesis Part 2 and be super overpowered right at the start. But Dolly, the product manager of ARC, recently tweeted to clear up that official ARC Genesis 2 servers will have a setting that blocks the transfer of hexagons from Genesis Part 1 to Genesis Part 2. Unofficial servers, or single-player games, will actually have a setting they can set to enable a hexagon transfer if they want to. So hopefully this will save some people some time if you're trying to grind up those hexagons. In other news about this channel, I just got my internet connection fixed, so I should be able to hold a stable live stream again. And please give a big thank you to Jason, the Comcast tech, who did an awesome job fixing that for me. And keep an eye out because I am planning to do a Genesis 2 launch countdown stream on July 2nd. I'll give you more details on that when we find out about what time the expansion is supposed to launch on July 2nd, so keep an eye out for that. And the last bit of news is actually about my channel. I have added a new membership tier for people who would like to support this channel as monthly contributors. You can now get our loyalty badges, custom emojis, and your name in the credits for under $2 a month. All existing channel members have been promoted one tier higher, so you'll get better perks to enjoy and don't have to do anything different. I will launch a full video about the changes soon, but I'm working on a lot of updates for this channel before Genesis 2 rolls out, so not 100% sure when that'll come out. But once again, thank you so much to all of our awesome channel members that have given us so much support over the years. And in case you missed it, I posted my first channel member base tour video a couple of days ago, and there will be more of those coming in the near future, but maybe a couple weeks into Genesis Part 2 because I am going to be swamped with Genesis 2 guides as soon as it launches. And keep an eye out for tons of guides on Genesis 2 base locations, resource locations, new creature taming, and lots of other tricks that will keep coming really fast. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel with all notifications enabled so you don't miss out on all of those helpful videos. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of all of the new stuff we talked about. I would love to hear from you. And that brings us to the brand new ending for all of our videos that's coming up next. So let me know in the comments what you think because it's still a work in progress too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. That helps us out a lot. And drop a comment. We love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more videos like this coming out really soon and you won't want to miss any of them. We already have tons of other videos for you to watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.